right, shalom, shalom. I want to give all the praises, all the glory, all the honor to Yahweh by Simi Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the whole world that taught us the truth, the blessings to the elect, and the remnant of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. Uh, so, Brother Yakal coming in the last part of uh, Ezekiel. I'm sorry, it's taken a, a while uh, because I uh, had a, a few problems. Uh, Health wise and stuff, uh, so while well, I'm a little bit better, uh, let's and things have and 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 things have uh, exploded when it comes to this because Ezekiel 38 is a prophecy. Now we've done one, two, three, four parts, you know, and uh. A lot of things have happened since then. All right. Okay. So we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna basically uh, try and um, what's the word? Try and um, finish the breakdown, and uh, um, we're gonna look at our current update because. They've actually killed this uh, uh, Hezbollah leader, Hezbollah. Yeah, Hezbollah leader. They've they've killed him. They they killed this guy. They assassinated this guy. Um, right, let's read it. And the West is acting like okay. This is okay. This is all right. This is. Oh, this is a good thing that that is Israel has done. Naz, Nasrallah killings reveal depth of Israel penetration in Hezbollah. You know, and uh, he's their main spokesman. And uh, yeah, his name was Hassan Nasrallah. You know, and uh, he's passed on now because uh, Israel. Uh, basically bombed an apartment building where he was in. Even if he was an underground bunker, America supplied them with bunker bombs to, you know, so when the bomb actually uh, hits, when the bomb, act, act, you know, actually hits, it will penetrate even uh, um, if you're in an underground bunker, you know? Um, uh, I, you know, and the West is acting like this is okay, um, b b you know, but let's actually try and get some, some, uh, background to this, all right, let's, let, and then we're going to go back into the breakdown, okay, right. and this is the region that we want to focus on, all right, and it's a hot region. All right, this reason here, and uh, what you have to understand is that the epicenter of third world war is going to be in Israel. So they they they're digging their own grave, you know. But you have to remember who these people are. All right, Let, let's you know you have to remember who these people are. King, you know. Uh, you have to remember who these people are, man. All right. So it's the book of Revelations. Two. All right, Revelations chapter. And this is when John the Revelator was on the island of Patmos as a prisoner. All right. Okay. All right. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. And that's talking about us. Israel. So, your, so the Lord knows our works, our tribulation and our poverty. But thou art rich. We're rich because the kingdom of heaven, which is coming when Yahushua comes back on the earth to rule the earth in righteousness. 
All right. Okay. I know that works to bring a certain poverty, but they are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. All right. Jews. So people who say they are Jews and are not. Synagogue of Satan. All right. Verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So we're not supposed to be fearing the things that we're going to suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. <laughs> and that shows you that the devil is a person that roams, roams the earth. And that ye may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days, which is a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. So we have to be faithful unto death. You know? So, this leader... Um, Hassan Nasrallah He was faithful unto death for his cause Alright And Hezbollah was made When When Israel occupied Lebanon In the 80s So they're a resistance group You can call them a terrorist group when you want They're a resistance group Alright now let's get some uh, background on it Damascus, Syria. Hmm. Several Israeli airstrikes have hit the southern suburbs of Beirut. A series of loud explosions were heard across the city just after midnight. And and not just Beirut, which is in Lebanon, Syria as well. And Israel regularly do that. They regularly bomb Syria. Okay. You're looking at heavy artillery fire in border towns. Local media here are already reporting that they can see tanks uh, in a town called Ramish in southern Lebanon. And this is this is a video that just came up an hour ago. Artillery fire into villages on the other side of that border where Hezbollah forces, according to the Israeli military, have been positioned. Let me just uh, tell viewers that uh, Yemen's Houthis have just said they will escalate their military operations in response to the Israeli attacks over the weekend. Damn right. More rockets into Israel. So this is the next leader, this is the deputy leader of uh, Hezbollah because they've killed Hassan Nasrallah, all right, okay, and this is a statement that he's making now, Israel uh, uh, say they want to do a ground invasion and they're doing a ground invasion in Lebanon, now, just like this devil does, this devil only goes after people that are weak just like um britain america and their allies went after um uh, what's it called uh um afghanistan uh it you know iraq in a war on terror saddam hussein had loads of sanctions iraq was weak so they could take them down easily and hezbollah is a ground force it doesn't have any it it, it doesn't have airplanes. It doesn't have uh, 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 any air force whatsoever. None whatsoever. But what is interesting about this situation is that you saw in the beginning here. All right. I think we've seen it in decades. This okay. You saw in the beginning here that it saw and spoke about Beirut. All right. But then, if you look, the next uh, country is Damascus, which is in Syria, all right? Israel is, is bombing Syria as well. They're, I mean, they're crazy. They're out of their minds. Russia has 
a military base in Syria. If they touch any Russian weaponry, all right, if they touch any Russian weaponry, okay, I mean, Turkey shot down a Russian uh, plane uh, in uh, when um, they went in to rescue Syria, and that caused major tension. But, you know, that rift is... Uh, the Lord is healing it because as as we've gone in previous parts that um, the coalition that is going to go against Israel and its allies is going to be Russia, it's going to be Turkey, it's going to be Iran and it's going to be other nations and there are many Islamic nations. So you're seeing this unfold right now. Okay. All right. Now this is the... To be victorious, we are the people of Jihad. His priority, top priority was Palestine and Jerusalem within the Islamic and national unity. Those who are dreaming of liberating Palestine from the Zionist entity. Why do I stand for Israel? Because Israel is the most legitimate uh, ethnic group in the region. No, they're With not. evidence, overwhelming evidence to relationship to that land. Yeah. No, they're not. By the way, this guy here on the left is one of the lead, one of the guys that started Hamas. This is his son, so he's been turned by the Israelis. So he's just, uh, uh, you know, a puppy. religion. All right. And the, your entire Let population. Me. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach. There is nowhere we will not go to protect our people and protect our country. And of course, the United States has counselled uh, Israel and told them to keep it limited in both scope and geography because they're concerned that this could escalate into a much bigger war. These U.S. officials tell us at this and that and that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. It's going to escalate. But remember, remember, uh, as I said in previous parts. All right, before. Uh, uh, World War Three happens. So this is all these are proxy wars, all right. These are putting the uh, pieces of uh, 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 the chess pieces on the board, all right. World War Three will not happen until the MOTB is in, is in, introduced worldwide, and we have the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation, Jacob's Trouble. That's next, and that's going to be the massive culling of our nation in particular all right and these people that are on these programs they're insignificant you that's what you israelites have got to understand these other races they're insignificant the main people behind closed doors that all these nations want to get rid of is us they won't say it but they won't, they won't say it to your face but behind closed doors we mean a lot okay all right, and there's a video I've got of, of uh, an Israeli delegate saying that in America. Okay, now we did, we got to uh, verse Ezekiel 38, verse 18. All right, and uh, we, we, you know, we went through this stuff 14, 15, 16, and 17, which goes into the past. All right, past when uh, the Medes took us over and so forth. So we're going to start at verse 18, all right? And this goes back to the future prophecy, all right? All right, so let's start at verse 18. And it shall come to pass at the same time when when Gog, all right? Uh, and Gog is that land. Uh, let's get this. Uh, uh, where is it now? 
really is this land here all right down here Georgia all right uh, Ar uh, Armenia Azerbaijan all right and Magog is mainly the land of mass of Russia okay all right all right so it's come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel see why does it say the land of Israel because the people of Israel which is us we're not in that land. All right. It says the land of Israel. Who is in that land now? Amalekites are in that land. People who what? People who say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue will say it. All right. All right. I have to get another precept for that. Just to prove that. Because um, Zechariah 96 is one of my favorite scriptures. You know, and, and and I keep and I always like to say I met an Israeli doctor at one of my talks, man, and she said that she and she said to me that she knows that that they're not the real people, they're not the people of the land. She said that we're from Eastern Europe. Zechariah nine and six: A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cast the pride of the Philistines. A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Now where is Ashdod? All right, let's. Search Ashdod. Where is Ashdod? Ashdod is a city in Israel and it's a seaport. You see? There you go. Ashdod. Ashdod. See? Ashdod Museum Park. See? They've, they've made it actually nice. So, now what is the word bastard mean? Let's look up the word bastard. Alright. Bastard. Bastard meaning. Bast uh, all right, the word bastard means an unillegitimate child. A person born of unmarried parents and an illegitimate child. So an illegitimate people is dwelling in Ashdod. And Ashdod is where? In Israel. There you go. And it's a seaport. It's near the sea. Okay. There you go. So Zechariah 9 and 6, bastards shall dwell in Ashdod, an illegitimate child, all right? So that's why the, 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 the Lord is going to use these nations, all right, all right, to come against that land, man, all right? Because the people of that land right now, all right, um, which is us, we're not in that land. It is the Amalekites are in that land, all right? It shall come to pass when Gog shall come come against the land of Israel saith the Lord God that my fury that my fury shall come up in my face all right so the Lord's fury is going to come up in there and notice it says the people notice it says the land because the people in that land are, are you know they're not Israelites man all right they're not Israelites all right all right verse 19. For in my jealousy and in my, in in the fire of my wrath, I have spoken. All right, this, and this is the Lord's movie. Okay, all right. In my in my fire and in my wrath, what fire is that going to be? Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. See, so that's the, that's going to be the worst place to be. Right now, they've got the Iron Dome, which shoots down those uh, missiles. And what America does, and the West does, is they put sanctions on these nations like Lebanon. They, um, you know, Iran and stuff. They can't get parts and equipment. They can't have air defenses like the West, you know. So Israel can shoot down all these rockets. But a few do get in. It's not actually 100% uh, uh, you know, accurate, you know. You to get what I'm saying? It's not 100% accurate. And that's how they, they weaken these nations and then they come against them. They're cowards. All right. And that's why this Third World War, when you have a coalition of countries that say enough is enough. And that's why when we, we, we went earlier in the earlier parts, all right, 
uh, in verse 10, uh, it's talking about the Medes, uh, which is uh, God, uh, Magog, which is Russia. The Lord is going to say what? Thus saith the Lord God, it shall come to pass, this, pass that at the same time shall things come into my mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. The Lord is going to turn the minds of these Russians to say, fuck them. All right. Well, you know, we're going to back these other nations up and we're going to go and destroy this place. All right. So that great shaking. All right. That great shaking is coming, man. All right. And that's going to be these nuclear missiles that are going to pelt our, uh, you know, our, our homeland and America. Okay. Now, our homeland is going to be uh, uh, dealt it's, it's going to be uh, um, uh, damaged, but not completely destroyed. But America is going to be completely destroyed, where it's not going to be inhabited ever again, man. That's how bad it is, all right? So, remember, that scripture said what? All right? All right? In my, in, in, for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath. All right, there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. What's that great shaking? Okay, let's go to Isaiah 24 and 20. All right, all right, Isaiah 24 and 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. So like, you know, when a drunk man is there, all right, uh, uh, and he's had too much liquor and he's rocking back and forth, you know what he's doing? That's how the earth is going to be. And that's how... People that are on the earth, that they're going to feel that great shaking when these nukes hit America. All right. Now, the land of Israel is going to be damaged, but it's not going to be totally destroyed and uninhabited. America's going to be totally destroyed and never be inhabited again. All right. And shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and never rise again. And when it says fall and never rise again, it's talking about the Edomites. The Edomites' reign of terror, all right, so-called white people, their empire is going to fall badly, all right, and ending in nukes, which they made, and it's never, ever going to rise again. And that's something you should thank the Lord for, man. All right, you should thank the Lord for that. It's only you coconuts that want this um, devil, you know, to keep going. You know, because you believe in this devil, man. You know, you believe in his philosophies and everything, man. Okay. All right. Ezekiel thirty-eight and twenty. So that the fishes of the of the sea, the fowls of the air of the heaven, and the birds of the field, and all the creeping things that creep upon the earth, and all men that are upon the face of the earth. Shall shake at my presence, and that's what those nukes are going to do. And the Lord's the the Lord's spirit will be in those nukes. Okay, the heavy fire is going to make an example of that place, and the mountains, which is government, shall be thrown down. Every single government on the planet Earth is going to be thrown down because remember, uh, your house shining angel is going to come back. All right, and 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 they're going to get busy as well. So they're going to stop fighting each other in World War III and they're going to try and fight their Heavenly Father, um, uh, Son and the Angels. You know, and the sister put a comment and I'll reply to it today. She said, so the BRICS nations and NATO will come against the Lord? Yes, they will come against the Lord and they will lose badly. All right. They will lose badly. So don't worry about that, sister. They will lose badly, you know, and the steep places shall fall. And every wall shall fall to the ground. All right. So every uh, um, empire, all the, um, I mean, the animals are going to be shaken. When it talks about mountains, it means governments. You know, your armies, your militaries. It's going to be. It's going to be. Is the the destruction is going to be great. The elect, the elect will round up the nobles. All right, and destroy all the weapons. We're going to go around. And we're going to around um, all these nobles up, man. All right. And uh, let me get this pre the preset for that. Where is that? Uh, blue. Uh, blue that up. 
One, not nobles, it's uh, is it Psalms? Psalms, ah, that's it, that's it, yep, that's it, beautiful, Psalms, all right, beautiful, so, so when this happens, you know, the elects can come out of the chariots, and we're going to round all these nobles up, because they, they're going to go underground in their bunkers, man, all right, all right, this is Psalms 149 and 4. For the Lord hath taken pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. And the meek shall inherit the earth. You know? And the earth is going to need to be rebuilt. And that's not going to be our jobs. That's going to be our slaves' jobs. Which is these heathens. Including these elites. You see? So the Lord is, <laughs> is, is beautiful. Because they're, they're thinking, yeah, we're okay now. We're getting away with... Drinking blood, molesting children, going on Epstein Island and all this stuff. They're going to be, the slavery that they're going to be under is going to be worse than what we were under. All right. All right. Uh, Psalms 149 verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of, of the most high be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. All right, two-edged sword. Verse seven, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, the other nations, and punishments upon the people. All right, verse eight, it's the point. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. All right, verse nine, to execute upon them the judgment written. This is the honor. Have all his saints praise ye the Lord. All right, they're nobles. All right, and what does the word noble mean? So the word nobles, they're nobles. Nobles, all right. The nobles. Uh, Strong's H3513. Kaved. 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 Second right. entry. Kaved. Kaved. See, look. To be heavy, to be weighty, to be grievous, to be hard, to be rich, to be honorable, to be glorious, be burdensome. Yeah, and isn't it nobles? Aren't they rich? Aren't they honorable with their titles? They're not going to be honorable. They're going to be slaves, man. All right? So we're going to bind them with fetters of iron, man. All right? We're going to bind them up. That's, that's going to be the job for the elect of the nation of Israel. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. And that's real justice, man. A lot of these people have been born into privilege. They haven't worked a day in their life, man. You know? All right, verse 21. I will call. I will call for a sword against him throughout my mountains. All right, that mountains means what? Governments, man. All right. Throughout my mountains. Save the Lord God. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And that's talking about World War II, World War Three. Because they're going to be going at it, man. All right? In the midst of World War Three, all right, that's when the house is going to come back. And the heathens are going to stop fighting each other. And then they're going to try and fight him. And they're going to lose miserably, man. All right? Yeah, peace up for that. Oh, uh, this is Revelations. Oh shit, sorry. It's like him. Revelation 18 and 10. Alright. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, which is America, Babylon the Great, is America, that mighty city. For in one hour is thy judgment come. So in one hour, all right, America is going to be, in one hour we're going to be delivered. The elect is going to be delivered by the chariots. 
Hal Shai and the Angels. And in that same hour, America's going to be nuked, destroyed as well, man. You know? But before it's nuked and destroyed, all right, who has to come on the scene? Yeah, Hal Shai and the Angels, man. Mm -hmm. All of this is going to be done within one hour. So the Lord is just going to... And that shows you the Lord is going to make an example out of that place. All right? All right, example. So, and America is such a big place. Who makes money off of other nations like China? All right, verse eighteen. And the and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Yeah, because China won't be able to to push their cheap products. So let them earn money now. Disrespect us. It's only for a period of time. All right, for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. So it's it's going to be destroyed. And it's not going to come back anymore. It's going to be made an example of, man. Okay? And you should want that, man. All right? All right. Verse 22. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. <laughs> pestilence with blood. And when it says plead, it means judge. All right? And I will rain upon him and upon his bands, all right, his armies, and upon many people that are with him, an overflowing rain of great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Those are those nuclear missiles, man. All right. Um, and when it says plead, it means to judge. All right. Let's see there. I will plead. Let's see. Strong's H, 8199. Mm. Shafat. 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 All right. To judge, to govern, to vindicate, to punish. All right. So this is a punishment from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay. All right. And it's a beautiful punishment. It's rightfully, uh, 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 and rightfully so, man. All right. So the missiles, there'll be contagious diseases. Uh, 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 the Russians and other troops They're going to be uh, um, uh, uh, Exempt As well man They're going to be in the thick of the war zone Okay Alright All right. Uh, What is it I think it's Ezekiel Ezekiel 39 I think it's Ezekiel 39 Ezekiel 39 and 11. All right. Yeah, Ezekiel 39 and 11. And it shall come to pass in that day, I will give unto Gog a place, a pla Gog a place there of graves in Israel. So they, they're going to go to Israel. All right. Russia and, and, and the Allies, Georgia, Armenia, you know, all of these places, you know, all these nations, they're going to go to Israel. But what does the Lord say? He's waiting for them. All right. It, I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop. The noises of the passengers, and there shall, and there shall, they bury Gog, and all his multitude, and they shall call it the Valley of Haman Gog. So you you have to understand that they're gonna go, and they're gonna do the Lord's bidding, those nations, and 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 our homeland will be, uh, uh you know, destroyed, but. You know, when we say destroyed, it won't be a uh, totally uh, uh, what's it called? Or uh, you know, it won't be totally destroyed and never be inhabited like America. You know, but um, those troops that go to the land of Israel to fight, there's going to be a lot of graves for them, man. So the Russians and their allies, they they're not going to get away with anything. Okay, okay. So you have to understand that this is uh, um, uh, the Lord is judging all of these nations. Because remember, 
in the Middle Ages, Russia was a black country. It was predominantly our people, you know, until um, uh, plagues and, and, and wars and, and, and deportations to America happened, man. You know, that turned Europe from a, a predominantly black continent to a white continent, you know. Yes, Vladimir Putin did say that the Messiah is black. Yeah, he is, but he's still a Satanist. If he wasn't a Satanist, he wouldn't be in power, man. All right? So that's what's going to happen, okay? All right? Okay. So the Lord says, God, plead, I will plead against them with pestilence, blood. So it's not going to be a, a it's, it's not going to be a great time for them troops that are going there. And when this happens, the Lord is going to be magnified. Everyone's going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yasha has done this. Just like when Yahushua was crucified, and that Roman centurion said, "This surely this is the Son of God." They're gonna know that Yahweh Bashim Yasha was the one that did this. Right, Exodus fourteen. Okay. Exodus fourteen and four. Yep, let's go back in the past when we were slaves in Pharaoh. I will harden in in um in Egypt. I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and I shall follow after them, and I will be honored upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts. Uh, you know, all his armies and all his, you know, the Lord destroyed it, and the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord Yahweh, and they did so. So when 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 the heavenly father destroyed those Hamites and they and they were Hamites, man. Alright, he was magnified. When he destroyed when he, when he destroys America, America's nukes and all that destruction happens and the chariots come, the Hamshire comes, he'll be magnified again. Alright? And the one um oh, let's see now. Uh There's one thing that I've missed out. Oh, Alright, Isaiah. Isaiah. Can we talk about prophecies about Babylon? You see? And that's how we know that there's, there's going to be a great tribulation. Alright, now, when you go to Isaiah 13 and 14, this is about the great tribulation. Alright, Isaiah. It shall be as a chase row. Isaiah 13 and 14. And as a sheep that no man taketh up, every man shall turn to his own people. That's race rights. And every man shall flee into his own land. So things are going to get so bad that people are going to fly home and look after their properties, man. And when when the scandemic happened, I thought that that was it. You know? All right. Verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone joined on to them shall fall by the sword. So if you're with the enemy, you're going to die with the enemy. All right, verse 16, their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses spoiled, people taking, coming in houses, and their wives, wives ravished, rape, that's rape, that's rape, all right, all right, and women are, 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 are and, and you know what, it's not even women, the average man is not built for this, man, what's coming, so when you, Watch these videos. Just pray to the Heavenly Father, and I'm, I'm I need to do that myself. That just say Heavenly Father, accept, help me to bear and accept what's to come, because it's not going to be pretty, man. All right. From about verse seventeen, this is what we're talking about here. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, which is the Russians, against them, against who America. Which shall not delight, which shall not regard their silver or gold, and they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash their young men to pieces, alright, that's their weaponry, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of their womb, alright, um, their eyes shall not spare their children. So there's going to be, as, 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 as it says in Ezekiel 3 and 10, that the Russians are going to just say, fuck America. You know, they're going to go with... They're already allied with um, Syria. 
they're already allied with Iran. They're already trading weapons. They're already allied with China. China is not in this prophecy as in name-wise, but they're going to be involved. You think they're going to be on America's side? Do you know how big China is? There's one billion people in China. Their, their army and their weaponry is huge. All right? And they have not tested it yet. They want Taiwan because Taiwan was a part of China, so they say. All right? But what well, I'm telling you, man, this 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 war is, is going to be, you know, I mean, they're going to have regional battles there, China. But I guarantee you. And, and China and North Korea are on good terms. North Korea has a border with China. Okay. So we'll see, man. All right. And, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, America, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. And the Chaldees and, and the Chaldees is your uh, uh, back then was your wise men, you know, in the in in the, um, you know, your Babylonian kingdom, your wise men now in, in, in this place is is. Is your Satanist basically behind closed doors? They have witches and wizards, just like the music industry. They have, you know, they put things music in a pentagram, and you know, they conjure up demons, as John Todd said. You think that the Pentagon and all these other countries don't have all that kind of wickedness going on? They do, man. All right, there's a film, I think it's called Red, is it? Is it called Red? If, um, uh, it's about Russian. Oh, it's got that woman, Lawrence. Is it? I can't remember her name. Oh, I can't remember. Is it Soviet? I think it's so. I think it's about the Soviet Union, whatever. Um, Jennifer Lawrence. That's it. Jennifer Lawrence, that's it, that's it, this is the one, Red Sparrow, this is absolutely, this film is about six years old, right, it's absolutely disgusting, it's hard, it's a Russian spy film, alright, and it shows you how they break, how they break someone, all right, and they have this school here. All right, and it shows how they become Asians, and it's absolutely disgusting. They break them mentally, sexually, you know. And I'm telling you, you think that's just a film? I guarantee you, in 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 Russia, in America, they do this wickedness, man. Okay, and it's yeah, go behind the scenes of Red Sparrow. I'm telling you, you, you don't really want to watch this film, but I'm just telling you, uh, it's, it's absolutely disgusting, man. I hate this bastard, Matt Walsh, you know. And you know, she hasn't been seen for a while. Good, man, you know. I'm glad she hasn't been seen for a while, but um, she's a good actress. She's, she's, she is a good actress, but I'm telling you, that film, Red Sparrow... It tells you the, 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 the lengths and depths that intelligent agencies do. And, and this is about Russia. And I guarantee it's true. You know? So, they, these places have got to be punished for that. And where do they get all of these, uh, oh, what should we do with uh, uh, intelligence agencies and, 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 and uh, um, soldiers? How do we train them? You know, they have wise men, all right? They, they you know, just, you know, they, they have witches and wizards that give them, uh, uh, you know, counsel, man, okay? We'll go into that, uh, you know, a little bit more. We're almost finished anyway. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be thrown down as Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, verse 20, it shall never be inhabited. See, it's America is never going to be inhabited again. 
neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the arabian pitch their tent there yeah none of you arabs are going to be going over to america making money neither shall the shepherds make their fold there all right but uh, verse 21 but the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures owls shall dwell there and satires shall dance there all right it's, it's going to be an absolute desert it's only going to be for creatures so that's that's going to be um the outcome for america man all right so us us being in this truth us uh, us being this truth it's i i remember we used to teach in um oh, where was it Hampstead Heath, that's it. Hampstead Heath. Um, you know, years ago, and these young guys came up to us, and we were going through what's coming. And one of the guys said, I came late, and one of the guys said, How do you, brother, how do you guys cope knowing what's coming? That's what one of the guys said. He goes, All right, we believe everything that you've, you've told us about what's coming. And they were really cool, man. You know, some of them were Jake, some of them were white. And 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 they said to us, how do you cope with what's coming? And that's a good question, man. That's a very good question. All right? But the way we cope is through the Lord. All right? So Ezekiel 38 and 23. Thus will I magnify myself. See, the Lord's going to be magnified. And sanctify myself. All right? And sanctified means to be holy, separate, all right? And I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, all right? So I, after World War Three is concluded, they're going to know that the God of Israel, they're going to know his name, they're going to know everything that he did. He's going to be magnified. There'll be chariots everywhere around the world. All right, and they will be visible. They'll be right over your head. All right, and there's videos of chariots. All right, there's one. There's a, um, you know, some things are 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 fake on it, but um, yeah, this this, this channel. But there is many um. UFO kind of science and you know we're talking about not um what's, 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 what's the word you know like you're on the earth and then you see a uh you know you know like a you know object upstairs and you know like when we're at camp we can see chariots sometimes but we can't see the form and shape of it you know no 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 there's there's uh uh uh, uh, sightings of chariots where you can see the shape, the form, everything of it. They're making themselves so visible, and they're doing that for a reason. They, the Lord is showing, yeah, like listen, you've got your little armies, your rockets, all right. But hey, you know what? I have my army. You know, for example, like this. You know, the Lord is magnifying his power. A chariot going through, a, a you know, teleporting through uh, uh, um, some wormhole, you know. The Lord can do what he wants. They can't even um, uh, do anything to these places, you, you know, to, to them. You know, there's a... a, a there's other things that show that there was a chariot that went down, all right, uh, above U.S. soldiers, and they uh, put a ray, a ray, all right, over the U.S. soldiers, okay, and that and that ray of light made the U.S. soldiers start vomiting and throwing up, you know, and those U.S. soldiers were never, <laughs> never the same since, you see. So the Lord is making his army, his hosts, 
more visible, man. Okay. All right. And this is a good chance because UFO section 51. Oh, there's other ones as well. Because we're talking about World War Three, so we've done we've we, we we've gone from verse one all the way to twenty three. So we've we've got all the meat off of that bone of this breakdown. But and we talked about World War Three, and that's about the nations. But remember, at the end of World War Three, what's going to happen? The Lord is going to show His hosts. All right, his army. All right, and that's the chariots. And that's why, all right, and that's why it's good to always kind of uh, dabble. All right, and look at these, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, another one is called third, is it third phase? Third phase. Yeah, third phase of the moon. That's another chariot. That's another um, channel where they show, uh, you know, UFO sightings and so forth. They got a lot of kooky stuff there, but um, you know, and it's imp it's important to do that because man is magnifying himself right now, right? All right, with the armies, Israel and, and America, but remember, all right. Man is only what the, the Lord has given them. All right. America is what God has built them up to. When the Lord shows his hosts, his armies. All right. And notice this. That in. See, look at that, man. You know. Th this is the Lord's host, man. What can you do against it? There was a chariot that came to a U.S. airport. And, and, and he went on the runway and it was right above a runway and, and it stopped traffic and no one could do anything. Cops came and they couldn't do anything. They couldn't shoot at it. They couldn't do anything. Okay. All right. These are the Lord's army. This, this is the Lord of hosts. This is his army. All right. And, and it's a comfort for you to know that the people that are piloting these ships are angels that are looking out for us and for you, all right? So don't be scared when, when we go through these breakdowns and lessons about World War Three, how man is magnifying himself, all right? Man can magnify himself all you want, all right? All these nations are, are nothing, all right? They are what the Lord has made them. The Lord has built them up for his purpose, man, okay? And... Our Lord is going to come back when? In the clouds, man. All right. Clouds. All right. You know. When you see uh, uh, um, um, that terminology in the Bible. All right. Okay. When you see that terminology in the Bible, a lot of times it's talking about the chariots, man. All right. All right, all right. This is Psalm sixty-eight and thirty-four. Ascribe ye strength unto yeah, unto God, unto the Most High. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. And what's in the clouds? That his armies, his hosts, which is what the chariots, man. So it's good to watch these things and keep up with them. All right. So listen, I don't want to keep it long. I hope you was edified. And I'm sorry that it take, took long, but listen, we're going to come back and uh, we're going to have a few more videos this week, as usual. And and they can be here one minute and gone the next, man. They can travel at, at, at the rate of sound, all right? That's why they are our salvation, man, okay? And when we was at camp the other day, we there was a chariot like this. No word of a lie, we had a link up. We were with the brothers in Central, and um, we were drinking, you know. And I don't drink much, but every time I go and see them, see them brothers, we drink, man, you know. And there was a chariot like this, and it, and it was a chariot because it wasn't a plane like you saw earlier on in this video that was blinking. 
and it was going a flight path, it was like this. It was going in and out. It was going up, down, left, right, this, that, and the other. And so it was watching over us, man. All right, so don't worry, you know. All right, so listen, man. Uh, I hope that you were edified. Um, um, until the next one. All right, blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom.